always a catch someplace, right? Otherwise, right. we'd be zapping across the universe today, and that is energy. You would probably have to have energy comparable to that of a black hole. In other words, a type three civilization would have the power, perhaps, to utilize wormholes or compressed space to go across galactic distances. This, of course, is science fiction, but it's well within the known laws of physics that wormholes and Alcabir drives uh, that are there are possible within the laws of physics. What kind of an energy source could at least theoretically be used to generate that kind of power? Well, in Star Trek, of course, they talk about the dilithium crystals. Yeah. Of course, there's no such thing as dilithium crystals, but there is something that can energize this machine, and that's called negative energy. Now, energy, as we know, is positive, but there is a situation where energy can become negative, and that's called the Casimir effect, which is actually measurable. We've actually measured in the laboratory. It, the Casimir effect is negative energy, and that's the fuel for a wormhole. Wormholes are stabilized by negative energy. In fact, it was Stephen Hawking who actually created a theorem using Einstein's equations to show that all possible wormholes, all of them, are based on negative energy. That's Hawking's theorem.